Hello, hello, hello. Let's get ready to start a brand new week where we get to sprinkle some faith and have a dash of fun as we read through our devotional, Our Wonderful Planet. I'm Auntie Kay, and I'm so thankful that we get to do this every day together. Of course, we dive into stories of hope, of love, and of miracles. Today is March 10th. And our title is A Dog Named Ira. And our scripture text is from Psalm 121 verse 8 which says, The Lord will watch over your life no matter where you go, both now and forever. The homeless dog was very thin with a dirty and matted coat. He looked like he was mostly Labrador. When Lauren and Leonard saw him, they stared their daughter Laura Strolla away from him. But for some reason, the dog followed the family as they walked to the park. Lauren was worried that it would get too close to baby Lara and tried to chase the dog away. Lara's parents were so busy trying to shoo away the animal that they didn't notice that Lara had climbed out of her stroller and was heading toward the man across the street with all the balloons. Suddenly, seeing that Lara was gone, the couple bumped into each other and tripped and fell. As they got up, they saw Lara running toward parked cars and onto the street. A large green van sped toward her. Just then, the stray mutt dashed past them and raced in beyond Lara. He twisted at his body and knocked her backward and out of the van's path. At the last second, he too got out of the vehicle's way. There were many joyful tears and prayers and lots of hugs and pets for the dog that Lauren and Leonard immediately named Ira. Ira is a Hebrew is a Hebrew name that means he who watches. In fact, they were so thankful that they took Ira home with them that very day. You may not have an Ira at your house, but you always have someone watching over you. No matter what you do and no matter where you go, God is watching over you. As the text says, now and forever. The Lord will watch over your life no matter where you go, both now and forever. And that's a promise that we can find in Psalm 121, verse 8. Thank you so much for spending these moments with me. You're invited to come back tomorrow, where together we will go through another devotional. Have a wonderful day.